Welcome back. In this segment, we're going to show you how to use the basic seven parameters to set up the Mitsubishi FRP0701 Advanced Parameter Keypad. As you look at the top row of this keypad, there's the PR Set button. We're going to go ahead and push this one time, and we're going to go ahead and choose Parameter 1, and we're at the very bottom, we're going to hit Read. This will show you what the parameter number is, what parameter title is, and the actual setting value. This parameter is set for 60 Hz, which is our desired setting, but for this illustration I'm going to go ahead and change it to 50 Hz. We're going to type in 50 and we're going to get hit right. You'll notice the parameter unit blinks and the backlit is lit and you can go ahead at this time and move on to the next parameter, which is going to be parameter 2. There's two ways of doing this. You can either push the PR set button and push 2 and then read or you can simply use the shift button and it will scroll through numerically from low to high. Parameter 2 is the minimum frequency and in most cases we usually put a value of 12 as a minimum hertz. So in this case we'll do that. We're going to type in 12 and we're going to hit right. The VFD acknowledged that by a, a beep and the backlit is blinking. This time we're going to go ahead and use the shift button and I'm going to scroll to parameters 7 and 8. Parameter 7 is our Excel time. The drive comes standard with 5 seconds, but typically we like to put in something around 30 seconds if the equipment allows. So we're going to go ahead and type in 30 and hit right. Again, it blinks. We're going to move on to parameter 8, which is the decel time. And this one is set up for 10 seconds, and we're going to go ahead and put in 30 also. 3-0 and hit right. Now, we're going to move to parameter 9 by pushing shift. This is where we put in the thermal value of your motor. Whatever the current rating of your motor is, we're going to go ahead and type it in here. Let's just say your motor has a decimal place point like 15.9. You can go ahead and easily type that in by typing 1.5, and the read button actually acts as a decimal point as well, point, and we're going to go ahead and find the number 9. Now we've just entered 15.9, and we're going to confirm it by hitting right. We're going to use the shift button again and go to our next parameter, which is going to be parameter 14. This is our load VF pattern. There's two settings for this parameter. Zero is for constant torque, and one is for variable torque. If this is a pump or a light duty fan, you can leave it at one for a variable torque setting. If it's something more of a heavy equipment, like a crusher or a, some type of uh, heavy duty pump, you can go ahead and set it to zero. For illustration, we will make a change by putting it to zero for constant torque mode and hit right. And again, the VFD acknowledged the change. We're going to go ahead now and use shift and go to our last parameter se uh, setting, which is parameter 19. And this is our voltage input parameter. Um, if your motor has 208, 230, or 460, whatever motor you have, of course, the VFD you'll have will have to correspond with that voltage. In this case, the, the VFD is a 208 volt, so we're going to go ahead and type in, and the motor we're going to run is 208, so we're going to type in 208 and hit right, and that has been initiated. Now, to get back to the main keypad after this uh, programming, all you have to do is hit the monitor or MON button, and you're right back to the very beginning. 